Hello, Paul here, and I want to show you some pro tips that uh, really you need to keep in mind whether you're uh, participating in a creative jam or if you're just kind of working day in and day out. And honestly, if you're working anywhere, in fact, I'm going to start here on my iPad. You can see I have Adobe Capture, which is where I'm going to begin. I'm going to launch this. allows you to capture content really from anywhere and whatever type of content you want. So we're going to start with colors. So this is similar to Adobe Color, but in general, I can capture colors. And right now, I'm in a boring conference room, but notice how I can start to select those colors and I'll just tap the screen to freeze it. I want to make sure I get that gorgeous pink, but also that red right there. Well, let's kind of select that deeper red right there. But I'm able to capture those colors. It's going to be synced to Adventure Project. So selecting OK, it's going to sync it, jumping into shapes. Now, we all know that uh, hand lettering and really uh, sort of hand drawing and all that actually is really popular right now. And when you create on paper, you definitely don't want to lose that work, but you don't want to go through the process of like scanning it in and, uh, you know, having control over how it looks. When in actuality, I can use something like Adobe Capture to capture that shape like I'm doing right now. I can also adjust the tolerance. You can also sort of remove any sort of residual vector content because as I select next, you can see it goes through and vectorizes each one of those words, which looks really cool, I think. Just does an exceptional job. Super hot. Makes you look really good. Select next. You can see it actually keeps the original image so you can actually go back in and adjust it, but that's pretty darn cool. Even taking that a step further making brushes. So you can see I really like uh, the hand brush, but I'm going to select the butterfly brush and you can see it right here and even as I draw with my finger kind of what happens. But if I select edit, I want to point out that this is the crop and if I go into style, you can see that I'm making a Photoshop brush, but I can also make a Photoshop sketch brush, which is a mobile app and then even an illustrator brush. But again, Photoshop brush, let's go into presets. We can start to see what that looks like and we can adjust the spacing. So really dense or a little more sparse. So I'll make it a little more sparse, kind of like that. We can obviously adjust the size because I want lots of different sizes of those butterflies as well as the angle. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. Just making it as random as possible makes it really easy when I need to create a lot of them as I'm doing right now. And I'd say that looks pretty good. Keep in mind that's being saved to my adventure project. So I've captured content again wherever I am and now I can jump into my desktop and jump into, say, Illustrator or Photoshop, okay, or InDesign and open up your library panel and you'll see that content. So I can jump in and I can select that color and make sure I have that taupe color for the background as well, okay. So that's the first thing I can do, just check out those colors. I have this quote that I've captured. This is a vector, so I could actually open this up in Illustrator and manipulate those various BZA points, or I can even just give it some sort of color overlay, which is all I'm doing of just a nice pink. And again, this could just be that pink color right there that I've actually created. So that looks pretty good. Even if I create a new layer, I wanna show you that brush because you can see it right here, selecting that butterfly brush. And since it's a Photoshop brush, I have control over it so I can add some color dynamics and make sure I'm sort of bouncing between the foreground and background color. Uh, so as I click, you can see sort of bouncing between that range, but obviously I can create something pretty cool. In fact, let's just make it a little lighter something I want something a little simpler but you can see kind of what I'm doing there is just making some nice little butterflies for this design. I've also used images from Adobe Stock. So you can search Adobe Stock, you can sync them directly, and when you're ready, you can always license them and you don't need to replace them, but that's where that image came from. Uh, so from that point on, I can you know work with it any way I wanna work with it. I'm just gonna add a nice sort of gradient because I know this the image doesn't quite match the uh, sort of tone of the, the background, so I'm just making some adjustments. Again, all, most of this content was created on mobile, and then I can have some fun with it, kind of like that. So again, hopefully you enjoyed watching this, and I encourage you to download Adobe Capture. I didn't even get into Adobe Comp, which is another time saver, but in general, uh, this is sort of the way you need to work, just to kind of speed up production. So have fun playing and creating. Uh -huh.